Hi everybody, hi every spirit, welcome very much to my YouTube channel. Esoteric Cloud Surfer here, ready to start a daily tarot reading, where we pull some cards to see how the energies of today are going for you, for me, for every spirit in this specific realm. Thank you very much for watching, your support is greatly appreciated, I wish you the best thoughts, ideas, feelings and emotions, a whole bunch of individuality, creativity and responsibility as well. Remember to support the channel, support me, support yourself. Check the links in the description down below so you can discover, discover more content of mine and of my beautiful partner Mistaria and also using the email and our social pages that are in the description down below you can contact us to ask questions, suggest topics for our podcast, and to also book services. And uh, let's get started. Today, it's a moon day, so we are feeling more in general. We are more dreamy. We want to feel more safe. We want to feel more private. But the moon is in Sag, so we're going to feel cool, or we're going to feel good, by sharing an emotion, a feeling, an experience, a testimony, or a spiritual conclusion behind a physical experience. And we have the Sun in Leo, what it likes to be in the fifth house. So we are acting in a more fixed way. We are acting, or our actions and expressions are backed and supported by the things that we pay attention to, the things that we want, the things that entertain us, or the things that are entertained by us as well. And the you also, or not you, everybody, every spirit, have the tendency, have more probabilities to be more fixed in their visions and what they think and what they feel. Okay? So, let's take cards for this. We're going to take three title cards, one oracle card, and let's get started. Let's go. First card of today's energy is oh let's go jupiter the wheel of fortune and it makes sense because the moon is in sag and sag is ruled by jupiter so we have more chances to connect to fortune what people call luck but it's like if you are ready to expand if your mind is already expanded and aware if you are already traveling into new unique spaces you always got fortune, you always quote-unquote lucky. But today, everybody has access to traveling, to expansion, to receiving or going through something that you weren't expecting or that they weren't logically aware of. All right? Hold on, guys. But no, then it's okay. I, I just noticed that we are recording in the wrong shape and form, but then we can just revert the video. So yeah, Wheel of Fortune, it's basically because of, of that moon in Sage. We are connected to all possibilities. We are connected to expansion and traveling into new spaces. And the Sun in Leo is helping us with that gift. It's helping us see more consistent ways to do those travels or to expand our sense of comfort or our ability to manifest and attract. Okay? Jupiter, Wheel of Fortune, expansion, traveling, getting some wisdom, getting some knowledge. You know, it's 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 pretty normal for today's energies. Yeah, okay, I see. Let's go. Second card of today.
go. Bit of scatteredness. It's alright, like Moon and Sedge. But it's a more spiritual scatteredness. Then like Gemini, which is a scattered mind. Virgo is scattered uh, uh, circumstances. Pisces is scattered dreams and illusions. Sedge is scattered visions, but it's, sometimes it's good. Because many people down here, they are too focused on earthly matters. So if, if they might scatter to the esoteric realm, it's actually good for them. Oh, we got the flip. Uh, but it's a flip with two cards now. I don't want to tell that story. I want to go straight to the point. All right, <clears throat> straight to the point. The Second card of day today, today is four of cups. Okay, yeah, and this makes sense. Ooh, this makes a lot of sense. Why? Because with the sun in Leo, we can see better the world that we are in, aka the, the moon in Sag, right? But it's the moon, so it's emotional, it's feelings, it's connections, it's feeling safe, it's accumulation, taking care of stuff as well, right? So, th but the four is like making sense and more masculine. So this card is showing us the interaction between the Sun and Leo and the Moon in Sag. We are making sense out of, of our emotions, making sense or seeing with more clarity our feelings, our connections, and our sense of security. And mainly because we want to express those things, those emotions, those feelings and senses of security, or we want those things to receive attention. So we are making sense, we are making them in a shape and form that can be expressed as well, okay? <clears throat> Let's go for the last card of today's Tarot Energies. Five of Cups. So we are realizing that we have a deeper connection with something. So the Sun in Leo is showing that we have a spiritual association with a person, with a feeling, with an emotion, with an idea, with a thought, with a place, with a state of mind, with a state of being, right? Or we want to connect to that space. We want to feel more purposeful, we want to feel that we have a stronger reason to connect or to uphold the connections that we have. Because that Five of Cups, it's reminding us that we are connected or even attached to something, okay? But it's after the Four of Cups. So it's after we have a more masculine, logical, look at our feelings, emotions, and the internal world, that we can see, oh, I was connected with that thing. Maybe it's time to let go. Oh, I was connected with that thing. That's good for me. Let's deepen that connection. Oh, I'm connected with that thing, but I don't want to have anything to do with that anymore, you know? But we are realizing, because it's after the Four of Cups, it's after we make sense of our feelings and emotions, we're like, hey, I feel connected to this, or I feel more connected to myself, or I feel more connected to my spiritual purpose, because the moon is still in Sag. So that's the main focus of today, feeling spiritually connected or feeling a spiritual purpose. And if you don't, you're gonna want to run away, you're gonna want to travel out and change whatever space you are doing that you are not spiritually connected with. And so let's see. We're going to start with the opportunity to expand or we are realizing, oh, 
we have the ability to travel, I have the ability to create something new, I can expand here or there. Okay, we're gonna feeling that excitement, uh, more light, the things around us don't perturb us anymore, and then we be like, but why? Or how? What can I do with this? Or what experiences I went through that made me feel so much like that? Thinking, analyzing, making sense of our feelings and emotions, and then we realize, or we be like, bro, I need to connect more with that. Or I'll be like, I was already connected with that, and that's why we were feeling in that way, or this feeling of newness and openness, then through some more analysis, because this is very balancing, the four of cups, four is masculine, cups is feminine, so then we, we, we analyze, we make sense, we create stories and allegories about our internal world, and then we discover that treasure, that thing that we hold dear to us. It might not be a thing, it might be a principle or a virtue, all right? Let's go into the oracle card. How can we do today's energy? How can we use today's energy in the best way, shape, and form? Let's go. It is, ooh, in course, in course, the orange gold dragon from Ar Arcturus. So you can express, connect, and associate your individuality, your spirituality, and your unique perspectives and actions, and that will teach others, that will open others perspectives that will open others worlds and that's very connected with this jupiter with the wheel of fortune the wheel because jupiter is exalted in cancer and in tarot cancer is represented by the chariot and this is the wheel of fortune and the chariot needs wheels in order to move so the chariot or cancer represents your spaceship something that you have created and Jupiter is how you expand, how you, you make that move, the wheel of fortune, having the will to go into that fortune. For tune, a, a tune, the water, the cup, the emotion, and the four, a square, making sense. You feel good about something and you achieve something in the real world by being in that space. So by sharing, associating, uh, giving, expressing, uh, making others pay attention in a positive way to your individuality, your creativity, and your unique visions and actions, you can teach them that the best way to be is to be your goddamn self, okay? Opens you to knowledge for the new golden age. And what does the golden age mean? It means an age where everybody is expressing themselves. Everybody, every spirit is being creative, is creating something new. We just, we're getting excited every day because so many new things, so many new uh, organizations, so many new ways, so many new technologies, so many new ways to cook food and to share content and whatever, right? Carry the energy of the future, be a guiding light. In what way? In a way that you show others that the best way is to be your goddamn self. All right, guys? But because it's, it, it's not just gold, it's also orange. So it's a bit more feminine. It has a bit more patience. It feels a bit more, more connect. It exchanges more. It's more mutable. You, you give and you receive. You give and you receive. And you feel good about receiving. You feel good about uh, <clears throat> expressing. You tell your stories. Then others tell your stories. But you, if you're the strongest spirit, you always be in some position of teaching or opening somebody else's perspectives, okay? So, I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. I hope it was helpful to you. Remember to check the links in the description. And remember to support the channel. Support me and support yourself. Till the next time, as a Surfer, surfing out.